Hi, this is Jerry Deere with GLD Enterprises Communications, and I'm here to talk about where public relations fits into your marketing plan. This is something that a lot of people don't understand. Even agencies out there trying to do this don't quite get it. And what I wanted to present to you today is a little bit about how your PR fits within the other things that you're doing in your marketing. So we're going to start with a little discussion about the three pieces of your marketing. The three components are advertising, public relations, and networking, and we're going to talk about them in terms of time, cost, and credibility. Just like you would think about how much time you spend on it, how much money you spend on it, and what credibility you get out of it at the end. Because at the final thing of the day, the real thing that you have to have out of your marketing, no matter which piece of it is, is credibility. Without it, people aren't paying attention to you. They're not going to bother to use your service if they don't trust you. So credibility is number one with us. The first piece we look at is advertising in terms of cost. Advertising is very expensive. It's probably the most expensive thing that you do within the encompassing marketing that you might do for your company. Next is time. How much time does it take to do advertising? That depends. How much do you do of your own? Like, do you create the ad? Do you sell the ad or, or buy the ad with some other place? How do you do that? That's what determines your time. But most of the time, it doesn't take that much. And then finally, the credibility. We see on our gauge here that the credibility is very low in advertising because what's the point? The whole purpose behind advertising is to say, hey, buy my stuff. It's really great. You need it. You can't live without it. Here's how much it is and here's where you get it. So if that's what you're trying to do, advertising is the way to go. And as we see here, based on your graphic, the more money you throw at it, the better it does. The next thing is networking. Now, if you belong to a chamber of commerce, a BNI group, some other kind of networking organization, then you're already doing this kind of networking. And the idea is to build relationships, but it does come with a cost. So what's the cost in time? Let's look at our graphic again. It doesn't cost that much to do networking because essentially all you're buying is membership in some organization or possibly you're just spending your time going through LinkedIn and buying people coffee. So the money is not that exorbitant compared to something like advertising. The next thing is time. Networking takes a great deal of time because you have to go out and do it. It is not the kind of social media networking that everybody wants to do today. You need to go out and build those relationships and spend a little bit of time with people, get to know them, let them get to know you. And then finally, credibility. Yes, networking brings with a great deal of credibility, more than advertising by a long shot but not as much as you could get. And the next piece of this is your public relations. This is where things really come together. Public relations is not free advertising. Everybody wants to think that, but you actually do need to pay for a public relations strategy. You would buy time from somebody like me or consulting or support or whatever it is that you need, even if you're trying to get the media distributed to get it out there. You might be doing audio, video productions. You might be doing a text-based a press release, anything like that costs money. So you're gonna spend a little bit of money on that. It's gonna be more than networking, but it's gonna be a lot less than advertising. The next thing is how much time does it take? Well, this is where it gets a little middle ground. It takes more time than, than uh, advertising does, but it takes a lot less time than networking. So you have to put some time in it because part of your PR might be to go out and give presentations or make public appearances or speeches to build your credibility among certain groups. You also have to take a little bit of time to do interviews with the media or possibly put the media out yourself. So it does take a little bit more time. Finally, credibility. Where is our credibility needle in our graphic? Well, it looks pretty hot here. It's all the way to the top because nothing builds your credibility like public relations activity. Why is that? Because you're not trying to sell to people. You're trying to get them to know who you are, how you do things, and what kind of company or person you are, depending on what you're trying to get across to them. If you're a nonprofit organization, maybe you're trying to get them to trust you enough to donate or become a sponsor or maybe volunteer. There's a lot of reasons why credibility is the number one reason you should be doing public relations work. Now, that does not mean that you eliminate these other two factors of networking and advertising. You certainly need to do those. That's why these three pieces are what make your marketing plan work together. For more information on credibility and relevance to your audience and how to get that through good public relations strategy, give us a call at GLD Enterprises Communications. Just go to gldcommunications.com. I'm Jerry Deere. Good luck out there.